Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Okay, I'd like to invite you to start the day with a short tarot reading. It's a general reading and it's open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, that's the best time for you to receive a message. Now, let's see what is the main energy for today. Okay, we have here the Eight of Swords. Something is giving you some anxieties and emotional upset. Um, something that prevents you uh, from moving forward. Something that makes you feel a little bit constrained. Um, a big part of it is anxiety. And um, you also do not know completely the whole picture. So that's one of the reasons why you also feel anxious. Maybe it's people who are talking in your back and you don't know who these people are. But then again, it doesn't matter what other people think. Logically, you have that kind of thought. I, I, it doesn't matter what other people think as long as I am living life with integrity. But it's not easy because somehow your intuition is in emergency mode. <laughs> it's as if part is saying, oh, you are threading in a dangerous situation. Okay. <laughs> People are not quite friendly at this time. Mm. It's quite hard also. Yeah, it's, I understand how uneasy it is sometimes when, you know, you shouldn't mind what other people say, but somehow your intuition is telling you people are talking on your back. And somehow it makes you feel isolated or alienated at this time. And you find yourself walking uh, in very uncomfortable environment. Uh, one false move can worsen the situation, something like that. I guess here there is a need for you to find the strength from within. Let's see what, how this will unfold in the near future. Well, okay. You have been very productive in what, whatever you are in right now. You seem to have been creative and productive. And it has already a lot of fruits and uh, results, positive results in what you have done. And you really have exerted effort on it. But yeah, it's no longer making you happy. Maybe it's because of this one. You are in an environment where... You are robbed of your peace, or at least you are more anxious rather than at peace. So for some of you, maybe you are considering uh, a possible change of career, or a possible change of environment. I mean, you can still continue in the career. Maybe it's just the working environment where you are in. So you try to see how this resonates with you. Uh, it's true. I mean, it's very important that you are in a place where you can really work with joy, work with peace, where there is no anxiety. But you don't have to really completely leave a career. It can be only a change of environment. Now, the change of environment can be a physically going away from the environment or just making drastic modifications in the environment so that it will be conducive, where people do not feel uneasy because other people are, uh, yeah, talking. You know, people start to talk about other people's lives when they are not doing anything. So maybe it's an environment where people are already idle and no longer, yeah, no longer keeping themselves busy pursuing their passion. Maybe you are in an environment where people have lost their passion. You see both the cards have gray skies. Yeah, very somber skies. So yeah, I, I understand why right now for some of you, you might be contemplating of changing your environment. Now, what is the advice of the universe regarding this? Well, have good boundaries. 
Continue to live with integrity and don't let other people step on you. You are kind to others, but you demand others to be kind to you. There is a balance here on the left hand and there's a sword on the right hand. Justice. Deal with them with integrity, but expect them also to deal you with you with integrity. And to yeah, you, you continue to be kind and uh, you continue to deal with them with kindness, but uh, deal with them with integrity. And I feel there is importance also of using your intuition in handling the situation. Now, if you are considering a change of environment or maybe a change of career, well, go through it with the guidance of your spirit guides and the spirit. Use your intuition on how to do the transition. But I feel that if you're going to make a transition, do the transition with integrity. It means you have the affairs in order. Don't just leave the situation. Make sure that the job that you will be leaving behind will continue to flourish, will continue to make a difference in the world. I mean, there's there was a reason. For some of you, there is a reason why you were placed in that situation. And it made you, you made it flourish. Now that it is flourishing, you need, I feel there is a need for you to deal with it in integrity. Make sure that it will continue to flourish even when you are no longer there. So I feel, uh, make the transition with integrity. So this is what I can see for our tarot reading. I hope that it resonates with your present situation at this time. And if it does, I hope it will help you make a good decision or a good transition if there is a need to do some transition. You can remain in the situation but change the atmosphere like, yeah. They are putting swords around you, then you put a sword up saying, I will not tolerate people speaking on my back okay <laughs> but you still gentle I speak softly but I carry a big stick so well, you deal with integrity with people also continue to be kind and uh, diplomatic but at the same time you are so firm and you do not allow people to just run you over anyway this is what we can see right now. I hope it has helped you in your present situation. Let us now go to the second part, which is the self-care tip. For our self-care tip, our card belongs to the Affirmator's cards, and it is entitled Abundance. Okay, it says here, Congratulations! It seems you are due for a little... And then... They scratch the little and then they change it to an infinitely big piece of abundance pie. Okay, so we continue. Uh, we, we repeat it again. Congratulations, it seems you are due for an infinite big piece of abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It is already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Okay, just keep quiet. <laughs> Abundant spy is big enough to serve everyone. So get your whipped cream ready, unless you are lactose intolerant, and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. Okay, if we try to look back into our tarot reading, you were very, very creative and very productive. You had a lot of pentacles. And uh, you find yourself in a situation where people are talking. It can be because of envy. Because you are already reaping the fruits of your labor. Abundance. And it seems that now you are considering a new career change. Well, it's okay. I think abundance will await you also if you choose to do a career change. Why? Because you seem to be a person who is on fire, somebody who is creative, somebody who gets things done. 
So even if you change your career, I think you will do well. But right now, you are already in that point of abundance. And when you are abundant, you are already receiving, receiving the fruits of your labor. It is normal that some people will talk. Some people will talk because they are, they are, they are all inspired. They say, "Oh, he was very successful. I wish I could be successful too." Something like that. So you can be an inspiration for others. Well, there will be people also who will be a little bit jealous. But when you look at it, only few people will be jealous, and a big part of these people will be happy for the success that you have. It's just that somehow. Even the few voices who are dissenting because of jealousy, they can have a strong effect on us. When actually, when you look at it, we should be more inspired by the bigger picture, the bigger picture where a bigger part of the population are happy and supportive of your success. So listen to the bigger crowd, and. Uh, don't mind the other sounds, okay? Uh, continue to deal with justice. Continue to share the abundance that you have right now with other people. And enjoy. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. You deserve it. And it's already given there. Everything is already prepared. The universe wants you to have it. Whatever this abundance is, the universe has already prepared it. And then they're going to give it to you. So just be a gracious receiver. Say thank you. And say thank you also to the people. Say thank you to the universe, to the spirit, to your spirit guides. Say thank you to yourself. And enjoy. Enjoy the gifts. And if you can share, share the joy with others. Okay, so this is what we have for our Good Morning Tarot. I hope it has helped you in your present situation. I hope it has given you some insights and some inspiration. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.